but, uh, but I know I'm the last thing that stands between you and your certificates, so I promise if we just have one bathroom break, I'll keep this to like a tight three and a half hours, and we'll be good. Uh, joking, just joking. Uh, I talked to a few of the students earlier, and uh, they've got a couple after party plans, and I don't want to stand in the way of that. Um, straight, straight fire, I don't know, that, that sounds dangerous, so just be careful when you're, uh, when you're, when you're doing whatever it is you're doing. Um, but let me be the first to, uh, to say uh, at the podium, publicly, in front of the students, having given out the awards, uh, the most important part of this entire speech, which is congratulations. Mm -hmm. um, it, is, it is obvious that you've got a great support structure in, in power, and judging by the guests and family that are here today, there's a support structure there as well. Uh, especially I heard, that's my baby. Which was, uh, which was great, that, was, I, that touched my heart. Um, so for, for that, if I could have the guests indulge me for one second, if you could just raise your right hand and take your left hand and hold it up next to it and then just bang it together violently <laughs> for these people here. Now, Empower graduates, graduates, you have to stand up. Graduates, stand up. Turn around, raise your right hand, Take your left hand, bang it together violently, and you all say thank you to these people, because without them, you wouldn't be here. All right, thank you. Have a, have a seat. So um, I want to make sure we pause for a second and say a special congratulations to the six individuals who have already landed full-time jobs. Um, I know that there are, I don't know if they're in this group specifically, but there are six people in the graduating class that have landed jobs, and so a special congratulations to them as well. And those are the six on top of the five Empower graduates who have secured internships uh, at the company that I work at, which is, which is Bloomberg. Um, so having met most of you here tonight, um, I am excited to have those graduates as part of the Bloomberg family. I know that they're going to go on and do great things, and I have no doubt listening to your speakers, hearing what you've done, that each one of you will go on and do great things in the endeavors that you follow uh, forward. This is exciting, and I'm honored to be here. Um, I think it's important to mention before we super get started is that these types of partnerships between Bloomberg and between industry and, and non-for-profit non organizations, this is what it's all about. This is how we change the world. This is how you change the world um, in, in, in that partnership. And through uh, our philanthropic arm, as was mentioned, through Bloomberg uh, Philanthropies, Bloomberg partners with groups like Empower and Living Classrooms and Urban Alliance, just to name a few. Uh, and these programs create opportunities and open doors for Baltimore's young people. Uh, and we are laser focused and indelibly dedicated to continuing that important work. Um, and the graduation here and the people in this room tonight are a testament and an example of what it means to be your best self. So congratulations, okay? Now, speaking about your best self, uh, a few of you asked me, you know, what's your story? As we were talking in the other room, what's your story? So I'll jump into that really quickly and just kind of give you an idea. Um, so my mother was a, was a morning radio DJ for WRTI in Philadelphia. Um, and my father was a computer engineer and I grew up in the 80s, I know, a long time ago for you. Um, but in my household, the music was from the 60s and 70s only. Right? Uh, so while the music was retro, the technology was always cutting edge. I remember my father bringing home an HP a Victoria 286, you may know, um, which had an astounding one megabyte, uh, one megabyte of RAM. That's it, this watch. I have right here is 10,000 times more powerful than that computer was. Literally, 10,000 times more powerful. But at the time, it seemed like you know, that, that was his, it couldn't get any better. It would never get faster. And being a morning re uh, radio DJ my, uh, meant my mother had an amazing music collection, uh, which she shared freely. And as a child, I would take my mother's record collection into the basement and I, where I built a makeshift radio station out of uh, some, uh, some radio parts, an old uh, record player, a Fisher-Price microphone, and a reel-to-reel -reel tape player, which none of you know what it is. Um, almost daily, I would broadcast a radio show uh, to an always eager audience of stuffed animals and my mother and my father. Yeah. Um, and while my parents both worked, uh, we didn't have very much uh, growing up. But my parents always encouraged me to experiment, to imagine as big as I could, and always supported my successes and my failures equally. Um, they didn't teach me about audio engineering or how to combine my love of music and technology into a career. Rather, they simply provided me 
with an opportunity to find my own path and thus helping me be my best self. Now, we fast forward to age 14, I started my own DJ company. By 18, I had 22 people working for me. And by the time I graduated college, I had co-founded a comedy club, a live uh, sound production company, and broke ground on a multiplex real estate development. Um, so I was moving along. Uh, Post-college, uh, I worked for both myself as well as for two large financial service firms, and finally landed a role at a private equity and venture capital firm in Boston. And so life seemed amazing, seemed pretty good. It's the American dream, living it, and then, boom, just like that, uh, a bomb went off. A literal bomb went off. Um, as, as I looked across the street through my window of my office, the morning of April 15, 2013, I could see the finish line to the Boston Marathon just 200 feet away. I watched as an explosion ripped through a crowd of onlookers and, uh, and my office windows pulsated from the back blast. Actually, like, vibrated from the back blast. Um, so as Kyle mentioned, in a moment, the trajectory that you have can change. Your life can change. And you have to have a plan B and a plan C. Um, so what I wanted to do was run out of my office and help people. But I didn't have the skills. I didn't know what to do. Uh, I was in no way, shape, or form uh, in a place to provide any support whatsoever. And so I, uh, with all the trappings of my success, uh, I was not in a place to be my best self. Um, so nine days later, I quit my job. And on April 24th, I joined the United States Army National Guard. And I shipped off to basic training. And let me tell you this uh, from personal experience. Do not go to basic training in your 30s. Okay? <laughs> Don't do that. Don't do that. Um, but, uh, but I joined to serve my country and my community uh, and to learn how to be a good leader. And it was really in the pursuit of being my best self. And so little did I know that my experience as an entrepreneur, as a DJ, as a real estate developer, and, and the leadership skills I gained in the Army um, would make it possible to land my dream job. But they did. And if you fast forward in a few months, uh, through my professional network, I heard that Bloomberg was looking for someone to join their team and build a global audiovisual technology group. Now, this person would have to lead a globally diverse team. They'd have to understand complex business principles. They'd have to master uh, AV technology while simultaneously aiding in the design and the development of new real estate projects throughout the world. All things I had experience with through the multiple roles I had had in my life. My life experience, the certifications I earned, and the professional network that I had cultivated over my entire life, not a single certificate, or a single degree is what enabled me to pursue my career that I have right now. And so uh, the support and opportunities afforded me by the constant pursuit of my best self is what enabled me to become a global leader in a world-renowned financial institution. So what's the point? What's the conclusion? Now, here's the point. You can be an entrepreneur. You can be a global leader. You can make um, lots of money. You can work like crazy. And you can love every minute of it. And I'm lucky, I, you know, I pursued my passions and made, and made, made well out of it. Um, but I'm telling you today, I'm looking you in the eye, and I'm telling you, this is all available to you. This is all available to you. This is your path. This is your life. And it starts today. And it starts right now. All right? It started when you applied for your position at Empower. It started when you stayed up late nights, when you came in early mornings, when you, you put aside the fun stuff that young people like to do and instead opened your books and studied and focused. That's when it started. And this is the culmination of that hard work, and we're going to celebrate it today, we're going to celebrate it right now. So when I say your best self, listen to me, okay? That's not the best in the world. That's not the best at IT. That's not what I'm saying. That's not, that's not what, it, that's what it's about. I need you to look inward. Most of you already have. I need you to figure out who you want to be and what you want to deliver to the world. Now, only you can decide that, right? Not what your Facebook profile or what your Twitter identity is or what you purport to be in Snapchat or Instagram. None of those things matter. You need to do what you really, honestly, and sincerely want to be. You need to look inside and figure that out. And then doggedly pursue that at every opportunity, which you've done. And this graduation is a testament to that. 
the truth of the matter is I'm preaching to the choir, okay? You've already shown the world you have what you've accomplished, and, and that accomplishment is, is happening right now. But you can't stop now. This is just the beginning. People always ask me, what's the trick to success? Um, the truth is there is no trick. I'm not better, I'm not smarter, and I'm not more talented than any of you. Quite honestly, after, after, after talking to you and, and seeing what you've accomplished, I, uh, I would argue that there's not a single person in this room that isn't better and more talented than I am, quite honestly. Um, but what I can tell you is this, three things. Thing number one, be prepared. When opportunity knocks, you need to be able to answer it, all right? So this graduation is just the start of your journey. You should be laser focused on the next certification and the next certification and the next certification, right? This is not the beginning of the end. This is just the end of the beginning, okay? Number two, build and maintain your professional network, okay? I expect everyone in this room to have connected to me via LinkedIn by the time this thing is done. Some of you already have, the rest of you better, right? Because when you connect to my network, you're, you're expanding your own network. And I'm gonna tell you the truth. Your network is what gets you the job. I'll say it again, your network is what gets you the job. One more time. Exactly. Now, your skills are what lets you keep the job, okay? But let's not get it twisted. Um, and the last thing, number three, every day is an interview, okay? If you are looking for a job, then everyone you meet is a potential hiring manager. If you have a job, then every colleague is an interview for a promotion, and every customer is an opportunity to be switched away to a different firm, okay? Every day is an interview, which means every day you've got to bring your best. You're going to be tired. You're going to be, all the, all the wonderful things in life and family and kids and all that stuff, you're going to be exhausted. But you know what? Every day you got to bring it. Every day is game day. Every day you got to bring 100% to bear. Okay? And be careful. There's a difference between being, you know, overly opportunistic and ambitious, uh, but, but what you really want to do is just every day is a chance to impress. Every day is a chance to di differentiate yourself. Okay? So, in a few minutes, you'll grab your certificates, which are here. They look awesome. I want one. Um, and the journey is, is not over, but this is, this, is, this is the testament, the culmination, the, the recognition of, the, of, of many steps you've taken to be, in fact, your best self. So, Empower doesn't leave you today. They're not sending you off into the world by yourself, right? You're going together. You're part of a larger network, and I would encourage the, that you become active and responsible members of that network. You should become mentors. You should pay it forward, um, and you should do it together as a team, all right? East side and west side, come together, all right? <laughs> okay? Um, lastly, and, I, and from the bottom of my heart, it's a true honor to be here. Uh, it's, 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 this is an amazing group of talented people. Um, they're tough. You're smart, you're focused, um, and I, I, I'm just blown away. <laughs> I really am. I got a chance to talk to you, and I'm just, I'm just blown away. Um, I talk to people all the time, all over the world, and, and you are an impressive group of people. Um, so in closing, good luck, God bless, and thank you so much for allowing me to be in the presence today of greatness. Thank you.